Hi everyone and welcome back for probably what will be the last episode in my inventory system tutorial series. It's been a long time coming but we're here, we're almost at the end. We're just going to do one final thing today and that is going to be an inventory query. So what we're going to do is make a function which will query our inventory to check whether or not we have an item or a certain number of items. Okay, And uh, that could be used for things like quests, um, hand-ins, turn-ins um recipes whatever you really want really um i'm going to show you how to do that so it's quite simple all we have to do is go to our inventory component and we're going to make a whole new uh, function for it so click on the plus function on the left hand side and we're going to call it inventory query okay now this thing's going to take a couple of inputs you're going to take an item input and that's going to be item class, not object, class. Okay. Oh, didn't change. Item. Mm. Query item. There we go. So next one is going to be query amount. And that's going to be an integer. And finally an output, which we'll check for is in inventory okay and that's going to be a boolean so that's the basics of it and what we're going to do is break this apart a bit and we're going to run a for each loop on our array so with the array drag it out choose get and from here we're going to go for each loop with break and plug that into there like so and that's going to run through our whole entire list for each entry on the array and it's going to let us check it okay so with the array element we want to break that by splitting it and with the item structure break that down and choose break item structure and you click on the little arrow here to expand it out so we want to check first of all whether or not the query item matches the class so class is equal to and I'm going to type in get query item okay and we can then minimize that so it doesn't take up so much space next up is the quantity so we want to drag the quantity out and we want to check whether or not this is actually uh, greater than or equal to the quantity that we are looking for so here get query amount so we've got two things we're checking for we're checking for if we have the item and we have enough of it and these are going to feed into an and boolean and this node returns true if both of these are true so if they're both true we're going to put this out into a local variable so tick local variable and the local variable is unique just to this function and I'm going to call it, um, uh, what should we call it? Let's, uh, let's call it, um, it, uh, no, uh, let's call it success. Nice and simple. And with success, we're going to drag it out and choose set, hook that up to the and, and hook that up to the for loop body. Once it is done, we're going to do a branch. And we're going to check whether or not this was actually a success. If it was a success, we want to break our for each loop because we found the item we we're looking for. I'm going to break it up like so. Nice and clear. Oh, hello. Nice and clear and easy to read. And our return node, we're going to drag down to where we have completed. And completed is going to go down here. And we're going to plug success into our return output. Okay. So let's run through this. We're going. Uh, taking a query mount and query item we're doing a for each loop on our inventory list and in this list we're checking two things we're checking whether the quantity we have of the item is greater than the query we're looking for and we're also checking whether or not the class is matches the same class we're looking for too if they're both true then we're going to set this variable to true and break the loop when we break the loop complete it's going to run and return the success uh, value if it never finds something, so it never finds the correct amount or correct item, this loop will keep going 
and success will always be false. So when it comes out completed, success will be false. Click compile, and that's it. That's how easy it is, not much to it. Now to test this thing, we're gonna go into our first person character. So in your first person character, we've got looking like this, and I'm gonna put it onto a Q key, just to test it out. And I'm gonna do that, um, at that inventory query so I need to get my inventory component first of all and I want to do the inventory query so if you were doing this on anything so if you were like walking up to a door and you want to check whether or not you have a key in your inventory or a certain number of items in your inventory you just have this on the overlap of the door for example or with the interact of the door instead of a Q button obviously and for that you need to get the player character and cast it to get the inventory component stuff we've done every lesson so you should be a, a familiar with how to get uh, access to components on other actors hopefully so with the inventory component we're going to do our query i'm going to choose the item we're going to look for we're going to look for a uh, herb and we're going to look for uh, three of them okay and it's going to come out true or false so here to a branch and from here we just do so we can test it we're going to do a print string and another print string um, is in my inventory is not in my inventory okay and that's all we can do so if you were doing like for example a door um you would do the query and if it's successful door open door close whatever they the code may be or if you're doing a quest quest success quest fail okay so with that done i can now test this out and if i hit q now you see it's not in my inventory so i'm looking for herbs three of them so pick up one still not in my inventory two still not in my inventory but three is now in my inventory and that is it it's as simple as that and as for the inventory system that is it really that's the, all the basic functionality i wanted to get done and dusted uh, before i moved on to other things um, it's been a long series there's a couple of things i do want to go back to and tr uh, and show you guys um but they'll come at a later time i just wanted to get the most basic functionality in there so you guys can really start making your own uh, systems and tweaking them to your own liking now this isn't the only way of doing inventory system there are plenty of ways of doing it but this is the way i found that's quite useful it's portable and uh, very uh, rugged it allows you to quickly add new items quickly add stuff to chests and it's very versatile in how you um, make stuff have an inventory okay so hopefully you've enjoyed this series um the next series we're going to be doing is a quest system so that's very exciting and we'll, we'll probably be twice as long in length we'll see um hopefully not uh for my own sanity but um we're going to do some other little odd job videos in between then um just to break up a little bit so we don't just get these long uh, stretches of series coming out and anyway, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed the whole entire series and you continue to enjoy my tutorials. I want them to be informative and instructive um, rather than me just showing you uh, how to do something. I want you to explain why something works, um, which I feel like is a much better way to learn and how to tweak things to your own uh, games or own projects that you're making. So likewise, if you've got any... Um, uh, suggestions you want me to do or any videos you want me to make i've got a whole list on my uh, uh on my notepads here of what i want to make it's quite a long list so we've got plenty of content coming this way so please subscribe to the channel to get first dibs on that content and um i'll see you next time thank you for watching and goodbye